Hello guys, in this video I will talk about subfigures in LaTeX. For that I need two packages. The first one is graphic X that I will be using to insert an image from a JPEG file and the second one is subcaption for subfigures. Here I already loaded these two packages by using use package command. Also I uploaded a JPEG file called logo that you can see at the left side. Let me uh, hide it so we are ready to begin. First, we need to create a figure environment. For that, we can use begin comment and we can end it by using end comment. And for now, let's say that as an optional argument, we are putting age and exclamation mark so that it will stay at the position we want, basically at the top of the page, just after the date. And also we can use centering comment to make our subfigure centered. To create a subfigure, we can use begin comment again because subfigure is an environment of sub caption. And let's end it. Okay, so this is the first subfigure. Let me just date and then Inside it, we can use include graphics comment. This comment is a part of graphic X package. So if you want to use this comment, we need to use the, this package. And then we are specifying what file we want to insert. So this is logo JPEG. And inside a squared brackets after include graphics, we need to specify the length. So we can do it by using it as the key and text with as the value. Okay. Now we are uh, before compiling. We also need to specify the monitor argument for sub figure, which is the width. And for example, let's say this is 0.5 text width. Now when we compile, you see that this is our image. Since we don't have any caption, you see nothing but the logo itself. First, we can add a caption to figure, not the sub figure, but fig figure itself. So let's use caption command and for example, let's say creating sub figures. This is the caption of our, as you can see, this is figure one, it's the caption of the whole figure. And we can also include a caption for the sub figures. Again, we are using caption comment, for example, let's say first sub figure. And as you can see, the sub figure is A, which is called first sub figure, and the whole figure is creating sub figures. And it's numbered as figure one. If you want to create another sub figure just next to this one, you can just copy this part of the code and let's paste it. And in between, we need to write down H fill. So in this way, there won't be any different, like there will be some uh, distance between two sub figures. And also let's make the caption second sub figure. And when we compile, so they are not next to each other. They are just, uh, as you can see, one is at the top and the other one is at the bottom. And the second sub figure is now B. It's kept, captioned as B. If we decrease the width, for example, if you make them 0 0.4 for each sub figure, you will see that now they are next to each other. So if you want to use two sub figures, you can use the, this structure. And if you have another figure to add as a sub figure again let's use h fill and let me just copy this part and paste and let's say this is the third sub figure let's compile and the third one is at the bottom so they are not in the same level so to make them at the same level we can just change the width to 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.4 for each sub figure now, as you can see, they are aligned. 
at the same row. But what if I have uh, another figure, another image for one of the subfigures? For example, this is the second one, and let me just change it. Uh, I didn't upload any other JPEG file, but there are some uh, files already installed in the GraphicX package. So we can use one of them. For example, let's use example image and let's compile. You see that this is the second subfigure. It's an image. So this package is already in the GraphicX package. And the, maybe you notice that the uh, captions are not aligned, as you can see. Also, the images are not aligned as well. So if you want to put those aligned, we need to specify the optional argument of subfigure. So this is the author position. We can provide either capital C, capital uh, lower uppercase C, uppercase B or uppercase D. For example, let's make all of them uppercase T, which means that it will align these three subfigures from the top. Let me compile and you see that the top of each figures are now aligned. And if you want captions to be aligned, we can just switch to uh, uppercase B's for each subfigure. And now their captions are aligned. You can also uh, change it, for example, if we make the second one T and the other two of them are B. Now you see that the bottom of the first and third subfigures are aligned with the top of the second subfigure. And the other option is C. So the, now you can see that the center of the second subfigure is aligned with the bottom of the other two. Okay. So you can use B, C or T whenever uh, you like. And uh, I think this is all about subfigures. I try to show you how you create subfigures and how you can align them when the figures are different than each other. I hope that it was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any question and hope to see you in the next videos.